Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving Will It Gas by Philip Newman. This is a Fortress XVXV pair Sudoku. So we have normal Sudoku rules, replacing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And then we also have some X's, some V's, and some XV's marked in the grid. Mind that you distinguish the V's from these little greater than or less than signs that appear on some of these gray cells. The V's are the bigger, kind of more elongated ones, and a V indicates that the two adjoining cells have to sum to exactly 5. An X indicates that the two adjacent cells sum to exactly 10, and an XV indicates that they sum to 15. And there is no negative constraint in this puzzle, so there might be other pairs in other spots in the grid that have those sums that aren't marked. You only know anything about the cells that have been marked. And then there are also some fortress cells in the grid. Those are these gray cells, and the rule for these is that a digit in a gray cell has to be greater than all of the digits in orthogonally adjacent white cells. So you don't need to worry about gray cells next to each other. You just look at a gray cell, like this one I have highlighted in orange, and it must be greater than all of these blue cells because they are white cells and they are orthogonally adjacent to it. So I'm going to start with the V clues because they all appear on fortress cells, and that's going to give us some low digits on fortresses, which are going to be very restricted. So the fortress digit has to be the higher of the two digits. So that's three or four, and that's one or two, because the five is either one plus four or two plus three. Same thing here, here, and here. And now the one I want to look at a little bit more closely is this one. This fortress cell can only be three or four and it has to be greater than all three of these. So in order to be greater than three digits, it must be a four and not a three. And then these are going to be two and three. Now that makes this a one, which makes this a four, and this is going to be two or three. We can also mark the digits that are adjacent to these other low-valued fortress cells as one, two, or three, like that. Oh, and here's another one. That's one or two. That's one, two, or three. That's one, two, or three. So that's a three or four. Now, here we can't have a 1 or a 4 in this 10 sums. This has to be 7 or 8 plus 2 or 3. And now I'm going to mark some of the XVs because those aren't as restricted when it comes to the fortresses, but they are pretty restricted when it comes to the actual XV clue. The bigger of the two digits in a 15 sum is either 8 or 9. And then the smaller of those two digits is always going to be either 6 or 7. So from there, the next place I looked was this column, column 6, and I noted that I have 1, 2, 3, and 4 here, and then these 3 form a 1, 2, 3 triple. That makes this a 4. So that's now going to be a 1. Now my last digits here have to be from 5, 8, and 9. This cell can't have an 8 or a 9 because those are already taken up in the region, so that's going to be my 5. And then this will be either 8 or 9. So here I need 5, 6, and 7, so one of these is definitely going to be a 5. Now here I have an x. I can't use a 1, a 4, an 8, or a 9, so the only sum that will do that is 3 plus 7 to sum to 10. And because I've now used a 7, I can make that a 6 and make this a 9. That 3 also resolves this into a 4 plus 1 equals 5, and that makes this cell a 2, which makes this a 1, and resolves this to a 4. And now neither of those can be 1 either. This now has to be a 2 because it's sharing a region with a 3. That makes this a 1 and makes this a 4. And in this region, I still need a 5 and an 8, which will go there and there. Now I've placed the 6 here, so I can eliminate 6 there, placing 6 here. Now 6 plus what is 15? The answer is 9. That makes this an 8, makes this a 7. This is now a 9 and a 6, and this is also an 8 and a 7 because we can't use a 6 here, so it can't be 6 plus 9. Now these two cells have to contain 2 and 6 to finish off this column. That makes this a 3 and also makes this a 3. This 2 gives us a 3 here, and we have a 2 over here. And now these digits are going to be 1 and 4. The 2 up here makes this a 3, so that's a 7, and that's going to resolve the 5 and 7, and that's also going to resolve this 2, 3 by value. And also this can't be a 1 because we have a 1 in the region. 
We have a seven in row two, so that's a six and a nine. And now these guys are from five, seven, eight. That's not an eight because there's an eight in its column and that's not a seven. Here we have an eight, so that has to be a nine with a six. And these are from three, five, seven, eight. Now three can't be in either of these cells because we have threes here and here. So this is going to be a hidden three. And we also have a seven in our row already. So that's gotta be a seven, which resolves the five and the eight. And now this is a two, three pair, but we have a two in column eight. So that's gonna be a three and a two like that. And then a seven right here. Now these digits are two and nine. These are gonna be two, five, six, and eight. That's not a two, and it also can't be an eight because it can't be any greater than a seven. That can't be a two, that can't be an eight, and so on. I need a one in column seven. It can only go here because of the one in region nine. So these are gonna be three, seven, and nine. That makes this a nine, three, and seven. My last digit in this row is now a six. So these can't be sixes. That makes this a five. So now I need six, eight, and nine to finish off this row. And that resolves these digits. The one here also resolves these. These are going to be one and four. And here I need two, five, and seven. And I need three and six to finish off this row. Not three and six, Um, three and something else, three and nine to finish off this row. And I need a four and a five like that and five and eight to finish the grid. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's Will It Gas? Hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you want to solve it yourself, the link to do so is in the description of this video. And I'll see you again in three days.